They just... They'll just do this forever. Just... Oh my god, they're not gonna stop! It's, it's not accepting input. S Sticky Bear? Rainy day, gym class is canceled, and we're rolling in the cart with the TV on it to show you some Philips CDI edutainment. Hello, everybody. Hello. It's Multimedia Monday here on Retro Pals with uh, with me and Alex. Hello, it's Alex. It's me. It's it's Danny, and it is rainy as hell. You know they're mm -hmm. predicting snow later this week. Yeah, there's gonna be snow on Thursday, I think. No. Mm, not looking forward to that. Yeah, we're 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 uh, banning that. Are we gonna get to watch Space Jam in class today? No, no, unfortunately. <laughs> No, unfortunately, this is an actual educational stream, so put on your learning glasses, put on your learning helmets. There's an entire uh, regalia you gotta put on before you can start learning with the Philips CDI. Is this like meta where you have to like put on like a bunch of gear or something yes, like that? Yes, you have to put on knee pads and uh, elbow pads and body armor, and then I think you'll be ready for the Philips CDI finally. I, I don't like that. I, I, I just want to wear like a crop top and, and short shorts. <laughs> Whatever. I'm here with the cart and the TV. And once I put on the video, I'm just going to go have a smoke with the other teachers. I hope you're ready uh, for that. Thank you, Vagrant Wastrel, for the 34-month resub. Do appreciate that. And thank, thank you, you, Sonic Devil, for the 100 bits. <laughs> Chased by Killer Bees. Oh, no. We got enough problems. Thank you, though. <laughs> All right, so educational Philips CDI games. We got a bunch of them. I have a few discs that somehow I haven't played yet. Uh, all of today's games are going to be original discs from my collection. So if you see something especially fucked up, just keep in mind, I own the original official disc and it's mm -hmm. in my collection. Does that scare you? Probably should. I mean, it scares me. Yeah, yeah. I'm frightened. You're in the same room with like 70 Philips CDI games. It is. I'm looking at them From right around now. the world. I can see it. I see that... I see the bastard sticky bear staring at me. We have educational games, we have rarities, we have stuff you will never see again and never want to see again. Let's get started. First game today, we are going to learn how the camel got his hump. Tinder. Alex. <laughs> you were like, don't, let's not make that joke during the show. Alex, nope. don't, don't, don't let's start. <laughs> let's do this. Jeez. It's an innocent game about uh, humping. No, it's by rabbit ears. It's normal. But who's going to be the celebrity voice for this one? Oh, good question. They got Robin Williams for Pecos Bill. They got someone else for uh, How the Rhinoceros Got His Skin. But who'd they get for this? Hello, and welcome to the Enchanted Forest. Uh, Are oh. you ready to go on a storybook adventure with me? You know it, my man. Listen closely and follow the star from my magic robe. When the star is over the book and you press a button, you can see the story. When the star is over the jack-in-the-box and you press a button, you can play the games. You can play the games. When the star oh. is over the hand and you press a button, you will leave the disc. Never you can to return. Move the star anywhere you like. And remember, if you see the story first, it will help you play the games. Yeah, this wizard is Have basically fun. a makeshift CDI mask. I've seen him a couple times. Yep, he was in the previous storybook discs we've done. And uh, this is the last official storybook game I have in my collection, so I'm going to have to go back to eBay if we want to see more of these. Okay, so what celeb do you think it's going to be? I say Dennis Miller. I say Danny Glover. Okay. Story. Let's see who is right. To stop the story, press a button and I will help you. It's somewhere in between Dennis Miller and Danny Glover. Can you imagine? That sounds like a nightmare. Story, press a button. Let's do it. Putting the controller down, sitting back, cracking open a cold one. Gonna watch a lurid video about how the camel got his hump. <laughs> Ooh, Gary Busey, that's a good choice. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, I would love that. Listen, we all want Rob Schneider, but no way. Danny DeVito, Carrot Top, Gilbert Gottfried. Danny Miller, their bastard son, yes. So it's narrated by no one. That's pretty innovative. Thank you, bad idea, for the, uh, how, how many months was that? 34 month reset. Wow, thank you. Hello, pals. I hope it's palin' good. It's pretty palin' good right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm palin' good. Hopefully you are too. Thank you. Samus, I don't know what we're looking at. We're we're waiting for the yeah. It's it's a, it's done by Marcel Marceau. We're watching the Earth take shape. Uh, in millions of years, there will be a camel, and we'll find <laughs> out how he got his hump. Now this is the next tale, and it tells how the camel got his hump. It's Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. Wow. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. In the beginning of years, when the world was so new and all, and the animals were just beginning to work for man, there was a camel, and he lived in the middle of a howling desert because he did not want to work. And besides, he was a howler himself. Sounds like me. I love this guy. So he ate sticks and thorns and tamarisks and milkweed and prickles. Oh, well, that's me. She ate an idol. Tip to toe. When anybody mm -hmm. spoke to him, he just said, Humph. Just humph, and no more. I like this guy. I don't know what, I don't know why we're bitching about him. Can't wait till he gets his hump. Then he'll learn his lesson. 100 bits from Tank Cadwell. He generally couldn't have sound more bored if he tried. He sat <laughs> yeah. on his back, a Thank bit you. in his mouth, and said, Cow, old oh cow. Come out and trot like the rest of us. No. Said the cat. I think the I think Nicholson is man. drunk, but I, I shouldn't assume. Thank you, Minx, a lot for uh, gifting a sub to the opponent. Welcome to the sub club. And 100 bits from Whoop. I wasn't going to send bits because the hype train was stuck at 69%, but I guess that's broken now. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Presently, thank you. The dog came to him with a stick in his mouth and said, Camel? Oh, Camel. Come and fetch and carry like the rest of us. Oh. Oh. Hmm, said the Camel. And the dog went away and told the man. Oh, this camel don't want to do shit. <laughs> I love this. This camel is great. I don't know what everyone's complaints are about. Yeah, he's a zoomer icon. Mm -hmm. Presently, the ox came to him with a yoke on his neck and said, Camel, oh camel, come and plow like the rest of us. Humph, said the camel, and the ox went away and told the man. All these animals telling on the camel. They are! They're snitches. A better world is possible, guys. Mm-hmm. You don't have to work. At the end of the day, the man called the horse and the dog and the ox together and said... 303, I'm very sorry for you, with the world so new and all. But that hump thing in the desert can't work or he would have been here by now. So I'm going to leave him alone, and you must work double time to make up for it. That made the three very angry with the world so new and all, and they had a palaver. Are they going to beat up the camel? Is that how he got his hump? <laughs> and a powwow on the edge of the desert and the camel came chewing milkweed most scruciating idle and laughed at them you ever have a powwow at the edge of the desert while chewing then milkweed then he said <laughs> when am i and not went away again what's the street name for milkweed uh peyote <laughs> i think they put some of that shit in that uh I swear they have milkweed in those uh, monster revives. Mm. Um. Um. Yeah, why 
Why the fuck not? Yeah, is this a Bobby McFerrin soundtrack? It sounds like it. He did uh, compose for How the Rhinoceros Got His Skin, so <laughs> that makes sense. Smoking that shit that killed Rudyard Kipling. <laughs> Yeah, why not? I like to think we have the most educated chat. But they're educated, Anna. I don't know. (laughs) Thank you. I love my wife for the 100 bits. Camel, oh, camel. Share that loud with the rest of us. (laughs) Thank you. Yeah, why the fuck not? Just... Presently there came along the djinn in charge of all deserts rolling in a cloud of dust. The story loves the word presently. (laughs) travel that way because it is magic. And he stopped to palaver and powwow with the three. Oh, it's a collab. They're going to play Hunter World Story. (laughs) A djinn of all deserts, said the horse. Is it right for anyone to be idle with the world so new and all? Like Jack Nicholson's Certainly horse voice. Not, said the gym. Well, said the horse, there's a thing in the middle of your howling desert, and he's a howler himself with a long neck and long legs, and he hasn't done a stroke of work since Monday morning, and he won't trot. Said the gym, whistling. The shitty whistle, Jack. I'm gonna give that fucker a hump. That's my camel. For all the gold in Arabia, what does he say about it? He says oomph, said the dog, and he won't fetch confess. Does he say anything else? Only hump, and he won't plow, said the ox. Very good, said the djinn. I'll hump him if you will kindly. Excuse me. Phrasing. The djinn rolled himself up in his dust cloak and took that a face when across the You just told the, the animals that you're going to give him a hump. Excruciatingly mm-hmm. idle, looking at his own reflection in a pool of water. My long and bubbling Under friend, the said from the djinn. Camel What's this I hear of you doing no work at the world so Thank new you. and all? Uh-huh, said the camel. The djinn sat down with his chin in his hand and began to think a great magic while the camel looked at his own reflection in the pool of water. I look pretty cool. He does look cool, I gotta say. You've given the three extra work ever since Monday morning, all account of excruciating idleness, said the djinn. And he went on thinking magics with his chin in his hand. I like that he pronounces it Monday, (laughs) said the camel. I shouldn't say that again if I were you, said the djinn. You might say it once too often. (laughs) Bubbles, I want you to work. And the camel said, <laughs> again, but no sooner had he said it than he saw his back that he was so proud of, puffing up and puffing up into a great big lolloping hump. Do you see that, said the Why are you proud of That's your, your back, very own dude? hump that you've brought upon your very own self by not working. Today is Thursday, and you've done no work since Monday when the work began. Now you're going to work. How can I, said the camel, with this humph on my back? That's made a purpose, said the djinn, all because you miss those three days. You'll be able to work now for three days without eating, because you can live on your humph. And don't you ever say I never did anything for you. Wow. Come out of the desert and go to the three and behave. Humph yourself. <laughs> and the camel humped himself, hump and all, and went to join the three. There we and go. From that day to this, the camel always wears a hump. We call it hump now, not to hurt his feelings. But he has never caught up with the three days that he missed at the beginning of the world, and he has never yet learned how to behave. Good. Hump. Um.
And the moral of the story? Go hump yourself. I was gonna say, you better work. You better work. Ah, $50 well spent. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the shortest of these discs so far. Yeah, what the fuck? Oh my Bobby god. Bobby McFerrin and another well, Bobby McFerrin joint. Th that's, where the, that's what the money gets you. It gets you that star power. It gets you Bobby McFerrin. It gets you Jack Nicholson. It gets you the camel and his hump. So now you know where the hump comes from. Go hump yourself, everybody. Go hump yourself. RK. See you when I get there. <laughs> I, I guess that's it. That's about all I have to say about that. All right. Uh, do we do we do we keep the uh, the cart with the TV still wheeled in the classroom, or do we wheel it back out? Well, we got a few more discs to show off. Luckily, okay. I didn't expect uh, the camel and his hump to to carry us today. Wow, what a punishment! You didn't work on Monday, so now you get a hump on your back, which gives you the power to work without food or water for multiple days in a row. Welcome to hell. <laughs> At least it's better than the rhinoceros story where it was all like, well, he took off his skin, but then he got like a bunch of like uh, itchy cake crumbs in his skin yeah, when he put it back on, like and that's why it's crumbs. all lumpy, so you're just constantly itchy without any relief. Um, nightmare. Yeah. So CDI Nightmare Games. World. Story. Games. <laughs> Each one of these pictures will let you play a different game. If you put the star over a picture and press a button, the game will begin. Have Good. fun. Nightmares. In the story, when the world was so new and all, one animal would not work. Choose the animal that would not work. Dog. Try again. Horse. Try again. Dog. Try again. This guy? Yes, it was the camel that was most excruciatingly idle. Excruciatingly idle, no such thing. Man, if only. Who did you like the best in the story? Is there a way to get this is, wrong? <laughs> yeah, is there a correct answer here? The camel, obviously. Yes, wouldn't it be fun to meet him? No, uh, he seems like a dickhead. Yeah, a, a, real, a real turd. <laughs> this dog has such cute ears. In which picture is one ear up and one ear down? Oh, come on. Try again. <laughs> try again. Try 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 again. Oh, you can buffer it. Try it. Try 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 again. Yes. You're right. Maybe the dog is listening to something. Hundred bits from paste being try 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 again. Look at these two groups. Choose the group of dogs that are all the same size. Try again. <laughs> You've got it. These dogs are the same size. Guy's gotta be like, come on, I'm making this as easy as possible. Like, come on. Who oh, is it's not a party. looking at the camel's hump? Try again. Try again. <laughs> Perhaps he knows that it isn't polite to stare. Uh, Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> look at this picture carefully and try to remember everything. I don't you want see. to. I don't want to look at this. I don't want to imagine it. Under bits from I love my wife, who's getting the best hump? I'm done. <laughs> now look at these characters. Which one did you see in the picture? Try again. Try again. Oh, I'm the worst at this. Yes, good for you. Yeah, that dog's mouth is nightmarish. I don't like when they keep showing it. Good for you. You did good. Choose the camel that belongs in the missing piece. Look at this. Try again. You got it. I still got it, folks. Mm -hmm. Haven't been in school in many years, but I can tell which way the camel uh, gyrates. Choose a box to see what's inside. Ooh. Then choose another box to try to find its match. Oh, if it's you matching. If you not find a match, Ew. the boxes will close and you can try again. I just, <laughs> I thought they were giving us presents. Try again. 
You're right. Try again. You're right. Yo. You're right. Nice. Are there any genuinely good CDI games? Um, you can it depends game on your definition again. Just of good box. and game. I keep playing them. Mm -hmm. Someday we'll find one. Maybe it's this one. Is it this one, Danny? Games. Wizard section. It has a wizard section. Come yeah. on. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I hope you enjoyed the disc. Here are the names of some other titles I know you will enjoy. Yep, we've read those two. Oh, is that the whole series? Man, this was such easy content. I mean, these were so much fun. <laughs> well, that is the finale, apparently, of the Philip CDI storybook series. I bet there's a few more. I bet there's a few more like this that aren't specifically part of this series. But now we know how the rhinoceros got his skin, how the camel got his hump, and uh, how Pecos Bill... Uh, got nude. Got Yeah, he was nude. Oh, yeah, the Emperor's New Clothes. That was part of the series as well, if I remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Emperor's New Clothes. That was another nude uh, nude dude with attitude. <laughs> Rude, nude, and crude. Mm -hmm. That's this series. Thank you, Harry. I like that they put this in cursive. <laughs> Jail terms <laughs> so up to five years. A CDI prosecute dis. Danny. That's fair. <laughs> <sighs> All right, okay. shall we? All right. Our next game is something truly special. Uh, I've mentioned before how I've uh, gotten into contact with a, a CDI collector by the name of Blazing Lasers. Yes. This is the guy who owns every single Philips CDI long box game released here in the States. He owns multiple games from other regions. According to his, uh, his years of collecting, one of the top three rarest games for Philips CDI in any region is a game called Do You Remember the 60s? Uh, this was a game we tried to play before on CDR. It crashed kind of hilariously, as mm -hmm. CDI games often do. Blazing Lasers was nice enough to gift me his personal copy of Do You Remember the 60s? And we're going to play it on the CDI right now. Yes, thank I, you, Blazing Lasers. Yeah, seriously. thank you, thank you so much. I do want to mention this still may not work, even though it is an official disc, so if it crashes, uh, no love lost. But mm -hmm. it's, it's just nice to have this disc. Let's do it. Let's play it. Please work. Peter Sellers! Yes, this is the one with Peter Sellers. Oh, look at that. It's, it's like a, it's shaped like a little record. Oh, that is charming. It, yeah, it does have a little vinyl print on it. It's covered like, it's, uh, it's, it's got the look of a 45 vinyl. Do you remember the 60s, Alex? No, I wasn't alive. What about you? Um, no comment. Okay. Oh, hell yeah, it's this intro. Oh, that's so good. I've been tempted, I gotta say. I've had this disc in my possession for a good couple weeks, but I've resisted the urge to play it. We had to see this in real time, one of the true rarities of CDI. Thank you, Yorkshire Television. There you go. All the greats. Her. You remember Her. them. Them. Lady who looked at a guitar. Uh, some people in the street. Do you remember them? I don't. Um, should we invite them in? Sure. Okay. Peter Sellers. Should we tempt fate and pick Peter Hello Sellers? Now, yes. Now the question is, how well do you remember the 60s? Each contestant must use the controller to move the stars and press an action button to choose their favorite celebrity. When you're ready to jive, choose the traffic lights and we'll party. The game lasts seven rounds, so get going. <laughs> Couldn't spin that any, any better. Like, there's right, there's seven rounds. It's going to drag on them for a while, so just fucking get going. All right, here we go. The moment of truth. Peter Sellers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. 
one of the rarest games in the entire world for any console, and it doesn't fucking work. <laughs> you love to see it. <laughs> so at this point, I have to assume it's some kind of uh, PAL 50 hertz incompatibility. I'm going to go ahead and try it one more time just for old time's sake, but <laughs> it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> oh, well, they are working on CDI and MAME. Uh, the next version is apparently going to feature more CDI fixes. And the second that that comes out, I will be testing Escape from Cyber City on it. I'm crying. I'm sorry. <laughs> Unbelievable. What a buildup. <laughs> Peter Sellers! Hello there. Now the question is, how well do you remember the 60s? Let's Each play Dusty Springfield. I don't think we picked her last time. Mm -hmm. Dusty Spring. More like Dusty Disc. <laughs> well, that was fun. Do you uh, remember the 60s? Uh, apparently no one does. No one can. No one. Uh, the entirety of 60s history is present on this disc. Unfortunately, the disc cannot be accessed, so we'll never know what the secrets of the 60s were. Rip, as they say. Rip. All right, let me very carefully put this back in its case. <laughs> Thank this you extremely again. Thank rare you again, game. Blazing Lasers. We really do appreciate Thank it. Thank you. I'm glad to have it in my collection, and it was worth a try. Well, um, hmm. let's see here. Do you remember Cool Oldies? Mm-hmm. Did you know there was a sequel to Cool Oldies? What's cooler than cool? Golden. Golden Oldies Jukebox. Oh. So this is going to be a collection of licensed music. So if Alex, if you could turn the Ooh. volume down, let's not get us uh, let's DMCA not get us in trouble. Blasted. Yeah, they're just going to blast the DMCA hosted our hose at our house. DMCA hose, I hate it. Listen, I would love a cool world game for the CDI, but unfortunately, oh, if only. Now this part you can turn up. Do you remember the 60s? No, but I remember jukeboxes. Yeah, they used to have those. All right, so last time around, uh, this is much in the same vein as the previous oldies disc. It has a bunch of your favorite hit songs from 100 and 200 years ago, and it's got a series of facts and helpful illustrations. What, uh, what other tracks do we got? Is there... Can I go on to the next one? I think it's that. that oh, one. yeah. I'm he's, walking. He's yes, walking. indeed. You know what? Let's do that. Okay. Do you want to see the track facts? Yeah. Yeah, let's turn on track facts. Oh, you get, you get lyrics. Super pick. Wow, the special 101 minute long version yeah, of I'm I walking. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> What is that? No, I gotta hear that. I Man, gotta hear a track fact. Maybe at the end you'll find out uh, where he's walking to. <laughs> All right, turn down the volume if you would. <laughs> yes. He's walking, yes indeed. Uh, this is why we play these discs for these uh, these CDI exclusive illustrations. Uh, what oh. does that have to do with... Okay. You remember Ozzy and Harriet? I remember it on. I remember it being on Nick and Knight and not liking it. <laughs> oh, I didn't. Oh, so he's the guy who sang this song. He was in. Okay, I didn't know that. Who is it? Someone the other day was talking about. I think it was uh, Diabetes was talking about Nick at Night, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, people of a certain age, nerds mostly, remember Nick at Night. In the future, uh, Diabetes suggested a new uh, a new take on that. Twitch at Night. <laughs> so it's just old Twitch streams. <laughs> Being broadcast like 20 years in the future where no one has any kind of uh, perspective on anything. Oh my god. Alex, we got to get into syndication. We got to get syndicated. You, why do you think I run that archive? I, I love, love those, those ratings. ratings. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Oh, it's animation. Yeah, get them going. Yeah, old Justin TV streams. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think, I think we're on to something here. Mm-hmm. Why are you? I don't. 
give a shit about Ozzy and Harriet. I feel bad. Booed for... You wow. can't please everyone, so you've got to... I, I'm sorry? You've heard the song Garden Party, yeah? You went up on the stage and said you've got to please yourself? What did you do after that, sir? <laughs> Have you not... <laughs> I never even thought of that. What? <laughs> Glad to, glad we're into this. Jesus. Glad we're ending this on a high note. Delightful. All right. There, there you go. He was walking. He's not anymore. Chantilly Lace by the Big Bopper. Uh, another <laughs> rock star that nothing Dead. bad happened to. <laughs> or he died, according to Alex. Look at this. The Big Bopper has never looked better. I Bopper. I want to know all about Chantilly Lace. He broadcast for 122 hours. How? You can't do that on Twitch. They would cut you off. They would call that self-harm. I'm just going to say it. Chantilly Lace slaps. Yeah. Yeah. Go off and listen to it. You can't hey, listen I've to it here. I've got no money, honey. How can you not relate to that? JP hits the big time. Yeah, it's a total banger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly, that is what I like. What? There was a sequel? Whoa. These graphics. These graphics. <laughs> I thought there couldn't be a sequel because he died. Hey, big bop bop baby, I gotta bop bop marry you. <laughs> <laughs> that was my impression of the big bopper. Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> Come on! That's so wrong! That's, That's sick as fuck! Fuck! That's sick. Show some this is sick. Show this some is sick. Show this some is sick. This is genuinely sick. All I'm asking for is a little sensitivity. I wasn't going to make it. Oh, any, baby, that's what I like. I wasn't going to make any jokes about the day the music died, but uh, CDI is here to pick up the, the slack. CDI is sick. Popcorn, 15 cents. Gallon of gas goes for a quarter. You can drink all you want. Mm, delicious. No regulations. We all ran on gasoline. Yeah, they introduced the plane crash with a fucking flashing scene, too. Jane is perky, but her single sags. <laughs> I, I didn't know Jane Mansfield made a record. In 64. She I, was a yeah. buxom babe. <laughs> <laughs> we're learning a lot oh my god what's the next track connie francis with stupid cupid i don't remember this one hitting the charts at number 14 a beloved oh my god oh my god rollo Ro too late rollo sorry you missed the sorry, boat no way you missed the boat on that wiener <laughs> oh that, there you go how many wieners am i gonna have to stop Played the squeeze box. Her later stage name? Connie Francis. She looks pleased as punch to be playing that. She does. That a happy child. Oh, I remember who's sorry now. I'm sorry now. So is she gonna die? Then like... crash! Boom! She died in a tragic accident! Oh baby, that's what I like! <laughs> Hey, that was really fucked up. That was fucked up. Remember the last disc when it was talking about Timothy Leary and it showed this huge joint yes. <laughs> flying across this top female? Top female vocalist. I was hoping it just said top female. <laughs> Sorry, I keep I keep I get, I'm on penis I'm on penis alert here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, hula hoops. There was a chipmunk who wanted one. Did he ever get one, you think? Did he? It would be too big for him. Yeah. Oh! Oh, okay. And tell us more about this. I'm kind of afraid. Though I'm okay afraid it's going to be like, and then she died! <laughs> Trivia question. How many records has Connie sold worldwide since 1958? A billion. I'm going to say 20 million. 90 million. Holy shit. It's quite a lot. 
really don't like that Cupid. I don't either. No wonder she was saying to stop picking on her. Stop picking on me or at least put on a loincloth. Yes! All right, here we go. Fuck yeah. Give me some facts about this This song. is my fucking jam. So how did this person die? <laughs> the purple people eater. Uh... <laughs> Crashed in the same crash as Buddy Holly. If you haven't ever uh, heard this song, give it a listen. Whoa. What is that animation effect? All right, let's hear about Sputnik. Mm-hmm. Were you spooked by Sputnik? I was terrified. I was like, it's a satellite. World news. Promo items sell well. Oh, good. There was, there was purple people eater merchandise? I don't I don't know. <laughs> Shep heads. Oh, I thought that was about... <laughs> People who are Sheb fans. Yeah, that's that's what Sheb fans are called. Sheb heads. You're a real Sheb head. Oh, okay. Rawhide guy. Holy shit, High Noon? Really? That's that's an important movie. He's on Hee Haw. Hee Haw theme, wow. See? Told you today's stream was educational. A bop bop a loop blop a bop blop bloom. D Hoosiers. The one eyed one horn the Flying Purple People Eater, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very famously starred in Hoosiers. Glad he got work. This is great because the way we have the audio piped in, I can barely hear this, so it sounds like it's playing from 50 yards away in a museum. It does! And we're just in the most fucked up museum of all time. Why is he wearing sunglasses with only one eye? Well... Tequila! <laughs> well, we know what he likes. Johnny Preston. He's... Oh, no. <laughs> This is the one that hit one, number one? Okay. Okay, 50s. I don't know. The, listen, okay, 50s. The 50s were f <laughs> there is absolutely... Yeah, racism sells a cat's crest. From Port, Port Arthur, Arthur, Texas. Dressed up like Neil Cicierga there. <laughs> I'm... Wow, that's on the very border of Texas. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I like the shades. Can we not talk about the Big Bopper? <laughs> Crash, boom, bang, no. Big Bopper fucking died. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Archer took out that disc. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. okay. So, basically, okay, so he stole his song because he died. Uh, once again! This typography is... <laughs> you gotta... They keep showing this plane to fucking... It makes a cool debut. Oh, baby, that's what I like. Yeah, this is golden oldies, not cool oldies. Cool oldies wouldn't make tasteless jokes about the day the music died. Um... Who would do such a thing? It was country George legend George Jones, Jones with an arrow through Yeehaw. his head. Nice artistic touch there. <laughs> this is uh this was how information was relayed back then. Uh stuff from many years ago was committed to Philips CDI discs so that kids in the nineties could learn about the uh the Paola scandal. The Nixon Khrushchev kitchen debate. Oh, what are they gonna do? They're gonna draw an arrow through his head or weird sunglasses on him. You can't just have a normal face in this game. They're just gonna like draw an eye patch and scars on him. Humba. Hung. Ugh. 
I'm glad I can't hear this one. Yeah, I was like, no, this is, I'm really glad this is turned down. Number one. Teen Angel, another song, a song about death. So do you think this is based on someone really dying? <laughs> We're going to find out. We really are. Ooh. Oh, no. This is heading to a bad place. Please don't be about anyone dying. This is heading to a bad place. There's a car on a railroad track. Thank you, Rio Dice, for the 14-month resub. Let's all learn about that faithful, fateful night when teens are gonna fucking die. <laughs> yep, here on CDI. Thank you. What's Colin Mockery doing over there? The Dinning Sisters wow them on the Grand Ole Opry broadcast. They sew up a million selling 45 with buttons and bows, the Oscar winning song from Footloose. I didn't, <laughs> yeah, get, to just... I didn't get to see the end of that. You did good. You shouldn't have seen the end of that. Lifting the phrase from a magazine article, Defending Teens. Defending Teens. It was what? banned? Yeah, that was a real anti teen agenda. <laughs> Why? Why were they. Why did they ban Teen Angel? Oh, Chet Atkins. We know about Is him from the last the disc. Is because dies in the song? And the Jordan Airs, the Is famed... Is it controversial? The famed Warblers. Not much of an audience for Warblers nowadays, have you noticed? Yeah, it's a shame, but... but Fucking auto-tune. <laughs> I guess it is a depressing song about your girlfriend dying, but... Um, oh, I used to know that. Cutie Clara? Clara and pa Patty, Patty Page. Page. Of course. Here, Ted Turnerized. <laughs> People nowadays don't have to deal with colorization as we did in the 90s. Yeah! <laughs> Speaking of. Hey, here she is. Three dollar dues. The FDA okays the sale of. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh-huh. Yep. Those are facts. Can't dispute the facts. <laughs> this yeah, is... yeah, everyone got Barbies and they were like, well, hell. This is demented. <laughs> you really draw in the line from Barbie to teenage pregnancy? No, to preventing teenage pregnancy. I saw Linda yesterday. What was she doing? Uh, no one cared because it was only number 14. I was going to say she was dying. Was she dying in a crash? I saw Linda boarding the plane with the big bopper and Buddy Holly. Dick Dickie Lee Lipscomb. Born Dick, in... Dickie. Born in Memphis. Good old Dick Lips. <laughs> I can't even talk anymore. Oh, God, a nightmare. <laughs> this is what the inside of my brain looks like. Oh, that's, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up. Cool. Isn't he dead? Is he the guy who punched someone? No, that was someone else. Was that Buzz Aldrin? But John Glenn became like a politician, I think. Sorry if you're still alive, John Glenn. Love runs wild here Buzz on Retro Aldrin Pals. punched someone, okay. Yeah, that's the guy. That's pretty cool. I'd punch a guy, too, if I went all the way to the moon and someone said it was fake. Dude, I would, too. I risked my fucking life. Do you know how boring it was up there? No video games? No TV? I was pissing myself. My pee was flying in the air. <laughs> hey, fear of nuclear war, everybody. Yeah, why Having not? fun? Why is... Why would you just call this depression oldies? Piss everywhere. <laughs> what? You... you didn't you, have you heard about how it used to suck to be an astronaut? I heard. Dickie Lee switches to country music. Wow, never ending song there of love. There comes that! Boop. Ding. Oh, it's sinking. It's, oh my god. It's blows. No, this is a good $50 disc. Do de do do de dum do de dum dum de do do de dum do de de do de dum da de da de da do. That's the end of the song. All right, what what's the song? Number one hit. 
Oh, this is a classic. This is a banger. Right. Okay, this is a no, fucking banger. A banger. Can this you turn this good. up on our end? Not yeah. on, not for the people. <laughs> I want to hear this. It's gonna be trouble. Have you heard the sequel to this song? I don't think so. It's basically like he's here now and he's gonna kick your ass. Cool. It's basically the same song, but there should have been a third one where it was like my boyfriend was here, but he left, but he'll <laughs> be back. Cause like the whole the whole story of the song is that this guy talked said this girl was like slutty and and his, her boyfriend's gonna come beat the shit out of him. Mm -hmm. My boyfriend heard what you've been saying. Wink. Girl Wink. Rock is born. Man. My boyfriend died in a horrific plane crash. What was the other song about a dead boyfriend who was a biker? A famous, a formerly fat housewife. I thought it said a famously fat housewife. I, what? Oh, I know the song you're talking about. Mm. Oh, it's it's like. Oh, oh. Leader God. of the pack. There you yes, go. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Krongo. That was killing me. The leader of the pack. One of the first feminist manifestos. <laughs> Okay, trivia question. I got this one. Okay. That's a pretty open-ended question. Um. Okay. 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 Ah. Uh, okay. Night bad idea. Yeah, see ya. Yep, not going to comment on that. All right. Wait and see. God, this is so good. I think it's the hand claps that do it. Hey, la, hey, la, my boyfriend's back. I just love the story. Like, like, yo, you're going to talk shit about me? My boyfriend's going to kick your ass. Like, literally beat you up. <laughs> Mrs. Archit, high five. Wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first thing I thought of, too. The Hondals with the little Honda. So little it landed at number nine. All right, let's turn this down on our end. We don't need to hear the Hondals. This is fake Beach Boys. It is fake Beach Boys. I used That's to think this was Beach Boys. Why is, oh! one, of, why is one of them Justin McElroy? <laughs> Cool. What a team That's up. That's Brian Wilson. He hates the ocean. You know what else he hates? Mike Love. <laughs> Who doesn't? Yeah, true. Oh, oh it was... Oh, it was going to be a... Be that makes no sense. Wonder. It sounds like a Beach Boys No song. wonder it sounded so much like the Beach Boys. Anyone else feel like you're getting clockworked orange by this? Yeah. Yeah, I'm being programmed for something. Listen, we're not going to talk about ho dads, okay? This is a family stream. Wouldn't it suck if you were reprogrammed by, like, something decades out of date? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you were programmed to believe stuff that didn't benefit anyone? You are programmed to, like, like Richard Nixon or something. Something completely yeah. useless now. Wow! I want to play this game. Band pitches. This game Pepsi. looks like it kicks ass. And hypes Honda. Instead of Harley's, up yours, Harley. Yeah, drink Pepsi. That's <laughs> quite a swimsuit. Is your swimsuit okay? Wacky teen surf picks. Beach oh, blanket man, beach bingo. Beach blanket bingo. That's a classic. Ski party and beach ball. <laughs> are, is, Back to the beach. Are we going to talk about the dog? No, it's fine. I think we should talk about the dog. Back to the beach. Back to the beach. How many pounds is that dog? A lot. Look like a pretty big dog. Mm -hmm. I want to hug that dog. We're learning a lot. Yeah. Like, do we really want to know any of this? I'll learn a lot by the time I get through every single Philips CDI discs. Oh, keep on dancing. I know this one. Oh, oh, this one. This is the one with, um, what's his face? Oh, I know this. What's his name? The, the 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 guy who was um Larry Raspberry 
Larry Raspberry. Who is he? Who is he? Oh, it's going to kill me when they finally mention him. He was a wrestling guy. What? Yes. Jimmy Hart. Thank you. I like the name Larry Raspberry. Larry Raspberry is much better. All right, you Larry Raspberry heads. Trivia question. Name this dance. Uh, the mashed potato? It looks like the mashed potato. Mashed potato or the monkey? The, oh, jerk. It's the jerk! It's you! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Chat thought it was the monkey. Larry Raspberry. I didn't know about Larry. And yes, that's Frog? Frog? Wattis? Those are Watusi. Oh, honey. Watusi. Those are all dances. All right. We're just displaying random syllables on the screen. Wow, this is beautiful. And yeah, that Jimmy Hart was in The Gentries. I don't know why they're not mentioning it. You know, if someone started just like tweeting these these scenes as gifs, it would get like thousands and thousands of retweets. James, quote unquote, 007. <laughs> Cinnamon Girl's actually all right. A whole lot of these just look like shit posts. This whole they disc do. is a shit post. Yes, there see, you go. See, I told you. The boo boo bruiser himself. You got to pivot to what's popular. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's why I'm proud to announce me and Alex are joining the WWE. Hot you off the heels. Popular. Hot off the heels of their most impressive show to date. We're ready to join the roster. Oh, is that this week? Was it? Fuck right, yeah, Wooly Bully! Sam the Sham and the Pharaohs. All right, this is good. Okay. The song is unimpeachable. Do not say a single bad thing about this song or I will ban you. Yeah, you cannot, you cannot shit talk Sam the Sham. <laughs> yeah, we had some BBH representation at the beginning. Mm -hmm. This song does fuck, absolutely. It fucks. Turn it up for us. Okay. Texas based? Of course it's Texas based. It's good. Uh, let's just let's just ignore this part. <laughs> yeah, right. Wooly bully. Wooly bully. Wooly bully. Oh, he didn't watch it, but the countdown's the best part, man. Is that what you call that? Tex Max? The I guess. one, two, uno, dos, tres, cuatro? <laughs> I guess you can describe that as Tex Max. It's, del it's delicious. All right. Trivia question. Um, Lawrence of Arabia? The, the Ten, Ten Commandments, Commandments, of course. <laughs> yep, the drugs are kicking in. Wooly bully means nothing. It's or it, it shouldn't mean anything. I do like the screaming. Yep, that's what a cat looks like. Oh. <laughs> yep. Look at that cat. Mm-hmm. Holy shit, that's what cats used to look like in the 60s. That's why everybody did drugs. <laughs> Meanwhile. <laughs> oh no! I heard about that, yeah. You think that would happen nowadays if everyone's phone Look at Sam. turned off? He's a reverend. He's working with prison inmates. Oh, this guy's cool. Good for you. Reverend Sam. You got it, you got it. Fantastic, thank you. This this might be one of my favorite CDI discs. Okay, Look at that coat. This? Look at that coat. Lightning Strikes. This song! By Lou Christie. I'm sorry that he had to lose his very Italian. Lugi Gino Sacco. That is so Italian. That is the most Italian. Listen, I'd love for this to be the Klaus Nomi version. Man, someone's kissing the hell out of that they photo. They fucking better mention Klaus Nomi. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. 
Good Lord. <laughs> wow. Jesus I'm, Christ. I'm definitely being reprogrammed to like this guy. Mm-hmm. Oh, the rain just started again. Oh, it did! Lightning striking again! Mm-hmm. Twyla? Did people used to be named Twyla? Yeah! That's a cool name. That is a cool name! Twyla. Shit, I should choose that. Oh no, he's calling for army reserve duty. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> U.S. Army! <laughs> How do we visually represent that? Uh, like this. Do they have to like Vietnam? Stop! Yes, exactly! Stop the war! Stop, stop, stop! Gah, war! Planes! Bombs! Stop it! I love these discs. Oh, Rolling Thunder. That's a good game. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, Rolling Thunder. The operation is less good. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't. We, we don't. The Retro Pals do not support the bombing of Hanoi. Guys, guys, guys. You're not going to calm guys, down. It's, it's guys, CGI. Please. Can you, can you rein it in a little bit? Okay. Imagine having to write this and put this together. Imagine running out of things to say about this song and just being <laughs> like, I don't know. Uh, uh there was a uh, racial tensions. Stop. Stop, Stop racial tensions. <laughs> Jesus. He makes a rat. Rap disc and lands a tune in the movie Rain Man? What? That's the most surprising thing I've learned so far. This guy went hip-hop and landed a track on Rain Man. Oh shit, thank you to Anonymous for gifting some subs to the community. Welcome to the sub sub, sub club. Squidly Diddly, New Well, Botoggle, Snorlax Snap, and Full of Lizards. Nice, thank you so much. All right, Welcome what's aboard, everybody. This? I hope you're ready to learn. Keith. 98.6, huh? Keith. Is there a cat meowing outside? Yes. Oh my god. Yeah. What song is this? Keith. Keith! I love the Philips CDI. You love the Philips CDI. We all love... Keith! <laughs> Keith! We all love Keith. Keith, Keith, Keith! Normal body temperature. Normal. Fahrenheit. Keith is all about that normal body temperature. I'm hot for you, baby. I'm 98.6. <laughs> I am absolutely average for you, honey pie. I am the normal temperature that we all are for you. I think this disc is for uh, reprogramming you to be heterosexual. <laughs> Oh, the lion sleeps tonight. You know that one. I do. <laughs> yeah, mission failed. <laughs> the greatest technology of... I'm not going to read that. <laughs> the greatest technology of 1991 failed in its quest. Stain your dress, no sweat. If it's one of those fab new paper jobs, just rip it off. A new one only costs a buck. I heard about paper dresses, yeah. Oh, now we talking about the Moog? Hell yeah. Oh, hell, Valley of the Dolls. Yes, yes. They say the best temperature to operate a, a Moog synthesizer at, at is 98.6. Mm -mm. Take your temperature before you... Y yippee? Mm-hmm. Okay. The yippies were... Uh... Doves hatch every day, but hawks still rule. The year's top-selling single, Sergeant Barry Sadler's Ballad of the Green Berets.
Yeah, yippies were 60s counterculture rapscallions, basically. They uh, occupied Disneyland's Tom Sawyer Island at one point. What a career. That you can yeah. get enlisted and then you desert the army and suddenly your career is, is just gone. That's my advice to young up-and-coming superstars. Don't get enlisted and then desert. Mrs. Argent, yes. Doves and Hawk is a... Uh, it is a very uh, old... It's an older way of describing pro and anti-war people, yeah. Boy, this had a couple of hits on it, but a lot of these songs on this disc are like number 17, number 24. Oh, this song! I remember this song. Turn it up. Let's see if I remember it. Oh, this sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm telling Alex to turn it up on our end, because if we turned it up on the stream end... Uh, we will we, be arrested. We would be arrested, yeah. All right, it's time for the pill, baby! Always about the fucking birth control. Not everything links back to birth control, guys. Well, what? Are you anti-birth control? No. Excuse me! I, Excuse me! I... Excuse me! Double barrels. Shot... <laughs> Alex, this imagery is killing me. Acid rock! It's Tom Wolfe later writes in the electric Kool-Aid acid test. Again with the Timothy Leary. You gonna bring back the giant joint scrolling across the screen? Because I hope so. <laughs> That's what we need right now. Oh, Twiggy. Remember Twiggy? I yeah. was thinking about Twiggy. She was very unhealthy. She was, actually. It was really fucked up. Wow, what a cop-out. I thought this year's Man of the Year I've was shit. I've seen some real... They, they, you know what? Everybody <laughs> bitches that every year they're like, oh, time's copped out. But time cops out, like, so often. Well, it was only this year that I finally blocked them, so... <laughs> you blocked the times? I'm never, gonna, I'm never gonna work for them. <laughs> I mean, I'm not either, but... Joe Stampley's version. Folks, Alex, we gotta get Joe Stampley on the sto on the, the show so he can sample us. Propel us to superstardom in the nineteen sixties. Mm -hmm. Are we going to the sixties? Yeah. This stream is a time traveling machine. Hmm. So you can go back in time and get shot in the heart with both barrels of a shotgun. Can't wait. What? Alex. I've never heard of this before. I've never heard this song either. It started off with like an auctioneer yelling or something. <laughs> what the fuck is this song? What is this? I've never heard of this before. Talk about suicide, water dripping uphill. <laughs> it's a golden oldie. Let it all hang out. Let it. Are you letting it all hang out? Uh, no, I have my clothing on. I love great teacher Onizuka. Especially the live action series. It's really good. Home of Frank Zappa. Oh. Sorry about that. Let it all hang out. Thank you, Ups Nerdity, for the raid. We are... We are playing? Golden Oldies Jukebox and other uh, CDI educational titles. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Get ready to be very confused. Mm -hmm. This is a disc called Golden Oldies Jukebox, which is a collection of uh, hits. There's a couple of number one songs in here, but a lot of them are like number 16, number 24. It's all, it's all about... Mal, for it's, some reason. It's all old music that keeps trying to inject facts on the screen, but they're all about, like, birth control and Chairman Mao. <laughs> so, I'm sorry if this stream ends up reprogramming you. Oh, and it's about the Big Bopper dying. You're gonna learn a lot about the Big Bopper dying. Yeah. But, like, in a really insensitive way. Mm -hmm. Oh, very insensitive. Well, that Thank was... you, cool and drug-free game stream for the 14-month resub. Philip CDI, let it all hang out. I agree. 
Oh, also, if you're new, we have the music turned down so we don't get sued. Yeah, we, uh... We can yeah. show the, the visual portion part of it, mm -hmm. which is the most important part. Gonna teach you all about the cow sills. You all remember the cow sills? We all gotta learn sometime. Mm-hmm. The... Oh, this oh, is what you all have okay. to learn. Well, learn. Um, thanks for, thanks for looking at the stream. I understand if you never want to come back. I appreciate you watching anyway. It jumps to number, <laughs> number two. Do I need Rolo for this? I was gonna say that water is so nasty. There's absolutely no way you're gonna jump into that water and not get anything. I'm sorry. It's the first B in. Retro Pal stream, the second B in. You can all just be here and be in. <laughs> the third B in? Yeah. <laughs> the 1990s hit film, My Girl. God damn it, Alex. <laughs> Flower power blooms on the West Coast. However, <sighs> 100,000 activists march in Washington. Protesting America's war efforts. I guess this song isn't bad. That's a fine song. Remember hair? Didn't that have nudity in it? Yes, it was famous for its nudity. Put your put your finger on the Rolo button, just in case. I, I don't know. Okay. You saw that Cupid. I remember the Cow Souls version of hair. Very famous. And here they are with hair. Oh... Also, we're all being MK Ultra, yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. They really are related, like the Shags. I wish they had the Shags on here. Oh, that would kick ass. <laughs> CDI, CDI facts about my pal Foot Foot. <laughs> it's true. The 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 philosophy of the world, man. Yeah, oh, they get got out dumped. of here. My curb is like, fuck you. Go back to the 60s. Yeah, absurdly. You know, we've been... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we've been ac accused of promoting and exploiting hard drugs through streaming. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that was Jack Davis's art for sure. What's our next song? Number 53 from 1942. It's... Sunday Will Never Be the Same by, by Spanky. Spanky and our gang. Thank you to uh, the anonymous gifter for gifting a sub to the Beach Boys. <laughs> Welcome aboard the Beach Boys. Welcome aboard, uh, Brian Wilson. Who do you think? Who do you think owns that account? Is it Mike Love? Is Mike Love and a Retro Pal subscriber now? Yeah. <laughs> release, release. Um. Remember when you could get into a band just playing the kazoo? Could you? Yeah, the guy was credited with kazoo. This better be some good kazoo. <laughs> My club listened to our podcast. Wow, and the mamas and the papas pass on something. Look at that guy. Look at these mustaches. I hate them. Those are the papas, Alex. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be so negative about the papas mustaches. And thank you, Anonymous Gifter, for just gifting someone named Mike Love a sub. <laughs> Mike is, Love, is, whoever you may be. He is absolutely a RetroPal subscriber now. Thank you for that. He has to listen to us. Oh, good for him. Congrats on the heart transplant. Mike Love? Tell us all about uh, Camp California. Zap breakfast in your new toaster oven, nuke dinner in your new microwave, then see The Graduate, or maybe Barbarella. Groovy. You may, you may call it groovy. Everyone's always zapping and nuking back in the 60s. They really were. What happened to zapping? Just pop these football players in an air fryer for five minutes and they'll be nice and crispy. <laughs> I 
are those two things related? <laughs> he refuses the draft and then lost his title. And then Vince Lombardi just did really well. Yeah. Oh, good for them. Hey. Happy for them. Congrats. The gang splits up again. Mama Spanky joins Denny Doherty. Okay. Mama Spanky. Mama Spanky. All right, Sunday will never be the same. Never. You're gonna you're gonna go away from this stream thinking about Mama Spanky. A lot of songs on this disc. There are. I think we're almost done though. Okay. Oh, I've heard of this before. This song sounds familiar. It is. It was. It was. Um. They used this song. They. They fucking. Mm, mm, they sampled the song. But I forget what the song. I forget what song sampled this song. Maybe that's where I've heard it. You've heard it in ads from the '90s. Oh yeah. That's kind of weird. That a lot of people's first exposure to classic music is through like car commercials. Car commercials and like Levi's and mm -hmm. flower power wilts and darkness descends and thanks CDI. That's definitely the uh, most. I don't know. Uh, that's if definitely we this, definitely this... the most sensitive way you could have put that. This is a this is a dark ass disc. Yeah, come on, <laughs> come Jesus on, Christ! Is this just a '60s kill list? CDI. Does he die too? No, Does he I, die I think too? I think he lived. Hell yeah! Welcome to Philip CDI. The whole world is watching. <sighs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is appropriate. Y'all are learning. I think it's so groovy now. <laughs> yeah? Keep going. Keep, keep, bring it on. <laughs> oh. Remember when Freedom was crushed? Yeah. <laughs> Weehoo! Graphic design is my passion. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Thanks for that. Sorry about the flashing. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Alex. It's still going. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, yeah. Burn your bras. I love that the minute everyone gets on drugs, they're all like, "Listen." Wait a minute. This shit sucks. Yeah, basically. War sucks. Die heels suck. I think Nixon's so groovy now. Friend and Lover is such a fucking 60s name. Wow, totally. <laughs> All right, wow. What a what an optimistic ending to that disc. Freedom is crushed. Optimism fades. And it's the greatest environment to lead into today's featured game. Sticky Bear Reading. Oof. Well, that disc was a real pick me up. Always, the CDI is always good at cheering me up when things seem at their worst, when freedom is crushed, when when optimism at, is at its lowest. Thank God we have uh, Richard Nixon and Sticky Bear. And Sticky Bear. This disc comes from Australia. This is a U.S. disc that somehow made its way to Australia and then made its way back, thanks to friend of the show, Frappe Fiasco. Thank you, Frappe. Thank you, Frappe, for sending this disc home where it belongs. Unfortunately, I watched five seconds of this yesterday, and I was terrified. Hmm. Please enjoy. Hmm. 
Alex, I don't think you're ready for this one. I don't think you're ready for this one. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Uh-huh. Now look at this intro. Imagine drawing every single frame of this. <laughs> this is your life now. Uh-huh. You're going to spend six months drawing the intro to Sticky Bear. Hey! Welcome to Sticky Bear Reading. I'm Sticky Bear. There are lots of games we can play together. So... But first, some Cassiopeia. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I used to play this game in Spanish to help me learn Spanish. Honestly. Really? You played yeah. this game? Yeah, not this one, the CDI version, but I did play Sticky Bear Reading in you Spanish You should press an action PC. button now if you want to play Sentence Builder with me. Yeah, they do have NFT faces. Hello, I'm Sarah. I have a picture and word book to play with. Press an action button if you'd like to see it. Well, what about Sticky Bear Jr.? Hi, my name's Bumper. We can Bumper, play honey. Word Bop. It's really fun. Press an action button while the star is on me. Well, we have a lot to get to. Let's start with uh, Mr. Sticky Bear himself. Oh, I don't like Terrific. his face. Terrific. I'm not familiar with Sticky Bear. This is my first experience with the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> this is more animated than I'm used to for Sticky Bear. Sticky Bear making some Deltarune faces. <laughs> oh. Yep. Uh, Sticky Bear. There he is. Dances with the ostrich. Let's see how this plays out. You ready? Mm hmm. I'm hype. Sticky Bear dances with the ostrich. Danny, look at him go. I think we have a new top 10 CDI game. Holy shit. Is this VR chat? <laughs> oh no, here comes the hot dog man. <laughs> they just... They'll just do this forever. Just... Oh my god, they're not gonna stop! It's, it's not accepting input. S Sticky Bear? Well, that's why he says you don't want to get him in, in his zone. Once he's in his zone, he doesn't stop. Okay, Sticky Bear. Okay, Sticky Bear. Alright, there we go, we had to let it play out. <laughs> Yeah, Sticky Bear is in the same plane as the Big Bopper and Richie Valen. <laughs> Come on. Well, if we're going to talk about that, the airplane flies behind the house. Let's recreate the events of that fateful day. <laughs> the airplane flies behind... The house. <laughs> Thank you, Anonymous Thank Gifter, you. for gifting a sub to Sticky Bear. Welcome, Sticky Bear. What's with this music? The day the music died. I've noticed that. This whole disc is nothing but Weather Channel music. I kind of like it. Which, like, ten years ago would be an insult, but nowadays... People buy rare LPs for Weather Channel music. They do. They love this shit. Yeah, this is a banger. I love this. Airplane flies behind the house. Can I really not stop this? I guess I can. Okay. Next. Uh, the bird... <sighs> You can make the airplane land on the house. Cool. Bird. Lands on. 
the giraffe. That sounds pretty wacky. Let's load that up. The bird lands on the giraffe. You gonna do it. <laughs> really? <laughs> Buddy, I can't see. I can't I can't fucking <laughs> see. Can you land on my back? Or perhaps at some point on my extremely lengthy neck? And not on my fucking face. <laughs> How about in Espanol? Ahora voy a hablar en español. Voy a presentar las palabras en español. El pájaro aterriza en la jirafa. Oh, good pronunciation. Yeah, no, the, I, I remember actually learning quite a bit from the Spanish version of this game. Okay, so this is the music in this is from a stock library, APM stock library. That makes sense. Oh, we're more likely to get copyright blocked for this than the fucking golden oldies. Damn. Bumper. El pato, el pato, or bumper? Yeah, bumper definitely. Oh, el hippopotamo. What's what's el pato? Duck. Oh, it's a duck. I want I want the hippo. Okay. The hippo did this to the banana. Let's see what that is. I'm gonna learn along with y'all. You will. El hippopotamo rebota delante de. La banana. Is he gonna slip on it? Yeah! This is art. I'm proud to say that I think what we're doing now is art. <laughs> Mating dance. This is Banksy. If you being, don't get it, it's on you. We're being banksied right now mm -hmm. in Espanol. All right, one more. Oh, bulldozer. Tractor. What do you want? I want the truck. The truck? All mm -hmm. right, you got it. What should it do? Um, It should... That one. And it should do it to Sarah. <laughs> All right. Let's find out. What is that? Like honk the horn? I... I don't know. El camión le toca la bocina a Sara. Honk. She is you! Go around! There's a huge desert! You don't need to... <laughs> this is the greatest I game! I lost my mind! This is the best game in the universe! Gee, do you see why I played this so much? Oh my this god! This is a really fun way to learn Spanish, because you could be absolutely insane to the dog. Oh boy, we gotta go with uh, El Paso. Paso. Yeah. Oh, 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 the sheep. We should have for BBH. Let's let's, let's make okay, sheep Okay, yeah. Stupid. Let's let's do that. El raton. What should the sheep do to the, the raton? Camina. Sorry, I'm so excited. I'm excited too. I don't think we're gonna beat the the truck Just honking at honking at someone in a in a desert hellscape. No, Camina detrás del raton. Walking on by. It walks alongside the raton. I was hoping it would like eat the rat or step on the rat. It's some sheep, Alex. Sheep what? don't eat rats. You don't know that. I do know that. That's okay. a big rat too. I said that was gonna. What be the if last the sheep one, but... was hungry? <sighs> Stomachs don't work like that. Sticky bear. Sticky bear. Byla, Byla. He's got a Byla. Please, please. All my apes gone. Sticky bear, Byla. Sticky bear, baila con... El payaso, el payaso. All right. Our final scene here. Yes, Sticky yes, bear. yes. Little baila with the clown. 
ka ng Barla. Barla, Barla. Sticky bear. Yes! Baila con el payaso. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why isn't everyone on Twitch watching this right now? We should force well, them to. Well, a lot of people are watching. I is gotta is say. there a button we can push to broadcast this to Twitch at large? Can we put this on the front page? Well, there's other mini games in here, so let's go ahead and uh, find out what those are about. Sticky Bear. I'm so glad this game journeyed across the ocean and then journeyed back to be in my hands. <laughs> Tengo un libro muy divertido de dibujos y palabras. Empuja un botón accionador si lo quieres ver. Man, all the voices are in Spanish too. That's mm -hmm. very, uh, very detailed. Magnifico. Mm. CDI is magnifico. It is. Oh God. That's a big rabbit. That's a rabbit the size of a cat. Is that the fabled Banui? <laughs> that is a Banui. That is absolutely a Banui. Oh my god, that's a Banui if I ever saw one. Yeah, it's rotoscoped MS Paint. <laughs> of all the things. Click on the clown, please. Uh, yeah, so. All this clown does is dance. I love him. Banco. The bench is alive. It's fine. Hey, the city is fucked up. A little bit. Poste de la luz. Wow. The park is alive with clown music. Oh, bad clown frame. Bad clown frame. No way, good clown frame. Oh, oh He's man. <laughs> Just take it out of here with my banana. Banana. <laughs> Wait! Banana. Yeah. It's just banana. It made a noise! It banana. creaking. Is that the noise a banana makes? Yes. Telefono. What sound does a chair make? Thea. Ah. Kama. <clears throat> Didn't know bananas made noise. Chairs either. Is this the magic school bus? Yes. Cohete. Luna. La Luna. Satellite. Astronauta. Can we get a redraw on the astronaut? No way, no, we're keeping him like that. Okay. And the spaceship, for that matter? No, it's fine. Really, all of this? It's fine. Rat, raton, raton. Raton. Yeah. Alex knows the Spanish word for rat. Of course. Barril. <laughs> that famous barrel noise. Barrel sounds like a synthesizer. Barril. Cubeta. Carreta. Globo. You learning a lot? Ooh, I'm grooving. Oh, I like this one. This is some Chuck Mangione. It's gotta be, because the Philips CDI feels so good. <laughs> ding, ding. <gasps> He's in the face kitchen! Oh my god, it's I know song. this song! I'm trying... Yeah, let's get copyright struck by this song. <laughs> <laughs> now we're in Ren and Stimpy, yeah. Tostadora. Mezcladora. Watch out, Sticky Bear. Sticky Bear. <laughs> he laughs. Sticky Bear. <laughs> what a story, Mark. Tetera. Nevera. <laughs> yeah, you should do this to your refrigerator every day. Give it a every workout. Every day, just... Really, really work those hinges. Okay. 
these. Look at that lion. Leon. Hirafa. Zebra. Elefante. Oh, we got an animal rave going on now. Hippopotamo. Did you know? Mm hmm. You can feed the hippos at the San Antonio Zoo. What? Yep. They have a special enclosure. Every person has to pay $40. It's very expensive. Probably because they're hippos and they have to make sure they don't eat any children. Yeah, I didn't know that. If you wow, want to go feed. Can we feed the hippos? Yeah. Got 40 bucks? Got a hippo? Um. Gallina. Can we just go to San Antonio? Yeah, sure. Vaca. Cerdo. Look at that pig. He's a bucking bronco. Wow, he's going wild. Tractor. Granero. Ojalá que te hayas divertido. Yo disfruté muchísimo. That was fun. Yeah. Let's go back. Can I see the games list, Alex? Of course. I want to see how much time we should spend with Sticky Bear. Ooh, okay. Well, there is one game I want to get to, but we have to see what Sticky Bear Jr. is up to. All right. Bueno, vamos. Bueno, vamos. Straight and to the point. I like this kid. Kid, why do you have a cannon? Kid. Sticky Bear. Sticky Bear, you're not a good dad. Sticky Bear, your son. Your son has problems. I'm sorry to say. Bumper's fine. Don't worry about Bumper. He's firing off cannons into the air. It's fine. Oh, it's an actual game. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, this is fun. What? Fuck you, Moon. Luna. Yeah. Fuck you, pig. No! Payaso. I hit the clown. Tiburon. Tiburon. I know a little Tienda. Spanish. What's sheep? I completely forgot. Oh no! Pajaro. Oveja. That's what it is. Mm. Oh, I see. You shoot him twice and you get rid of him forever. Libro. Oh. Damn it. I'm rapid firing this shit. It's a schmuck. I'm shooting the hell out of my English reading comprehension. Wait, this is Spanish. Spanish reading comprehension, yes. Zelda. Legend of Zelda. I can guarantee you no one else on Twitch is playing this right now, at the very least. Did I? You did it! I did it! Beep! 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 Hear that, everybody? Beep! I see El Raton! Look at that sock. It's alive. That sock is alive. Look at Sticky Bear. Look at Sticky Bear. He's alive, too. Sticky Bear. <laughs> Tigre. Zebra. Well, this is fun and all. And I'm glad we played Sticky Bear. And most of all, I'm glad he's back home after his trip to Australia. Mm -hmm. Hopefully he's a more worldly individual. Hopefully the next game will have an Australian option. Where you get to... Where you click on a can of Fosters and it says beer. <laughs> there I go, I had to tell my one Australian joke. Folks, what if I told you the next game is a game we've never played before by P.F. Magic. This is Max Magic. I have never heard of this. P.F. Magic, makers of Third Degree, makers of uh, Johnny Platform. What the fuck was that game called? Jack Sprite and the Crimson Ghost? Yes. Makers of Balls 3D, the Pets series, and this exclusive CDI game called Max Magic. That disc smells like the ocean. I think it's been water damaged. It's fine. 
You can't just say these things. You know, some discs just smell like the ocean. Someone threw a copy of Max Magic into the ocean, and it came out around the world on the other side. Fair enough. Blessed disc. There he is, the jester. <laughs> uh huh. Max Magic and partner. Let's see a demo. Mm. Hello out there. Step right up to the television screen if you would. No. I am Max Magic, expert extraordinaire of virtuality, <laughs> master of mental magic, Turn it down, and our professor end. of psychic projection. Thank you. I am a machine designed and built to perform magic. What? You don't believe me? Well, if I were human, could I do this? Good Faces bot just got like 20,000 posts from them. <laughs> and I, as partners, can perform 14 different magic tricks for your family and friends. For instance, in one trick, your friend chooses a colored shape while your back is turned. Then, you will magically read their mind and tell them what shape they chose. Yeah, by this reminds me of Penn & Teller's Smoke and Mirrors. Changed personalities. That's exactly what I it is, can actually. Can you on a magical jungle expedition? Party on at your birthday blowout. I like the school balloons. Why is there skull balloons? Explore the mysteries of the inner mind. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. Or you can take your chances with me. In a real slick trick, your friend picks a random card from a real deck of cards. Then with nothing up anyone's sleeve, I reveal the card on screen. Let's take a quick tour of my magic mansion. Let's not. On my stage are seven tricks we can perform together for your family and friends. In my inner sanctum <laughs> are seven tricks I can perform for you. Since I am a machine, you can program me to make the magic work the way you want. There is a secret way to open my head <sighs> that only you will know about. Alex. Inside my head, you can learn the secrets of the tricks, customize them, rehearse them. It had my name. name! So I know what to call you. Perhaps I could perform a sample trick for you. Would you like that? To answer me, use the controller. Push up or down for yes, or left or right for no. I'm pushing up? Hmm. I wonder what we're getting into here. I don't like how sensual he is. He got menacing. You heard menacing, I heard sensual. Let's begin by exploring the unusual world of astrology. Here's now it's an sensual. an opportunity for you to study the signs and how they match up to various birthdays. What's this Let ASMR? know when you're mm -hmm. ready to continue. I'm ready. I'm going to try to read your mind. Okay. And reveal your astrological sign. Here comes the spooky part. <gasps> Look into my eyes. Oh my god, Alex! Mm -hmm. Very good. I'm sure that your astrological sign is one, one of, of these. Them. Am I right? right? Is, your is your sign, sign one, one of, of these? these? Move, Move the, the controller, controller stick up or down, down for yes. yes. Or left or right for no. No. Well, it, it well, must it be your be fault. fault. You <laughs> aren't concentrating hard enough. Let's, 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 let's try, try it again. again. <laughs> Concentrate on your sign. <laughs> this is Akinator Stad, yes. This time I'm sure I've got it. One, One of, of these signs, signs is yours, isn't, isn't it? it? Uh, no. You're, You're kidding. kidding. I can't, I can't believe, believe it. it. I'm, I'm never, never wrong, wrong twice in a row. I'll, I'll try, try it again, again. but this, this time, time, you've got, got to really, really concentrate. concentrate. Okay, it's my fault. You better, better be thinking hard. hard. I'm, I'm sorry! From here on, 
only success. Take a look. One of these is yours. Is one of these Aquarius? Yes. Which one? Okay, I don't want him to hear. Okay. Ah, much better. I'll do it again to prove it was no accident. Oh, he might have listened to me. All right, before we continue, I think we'd better make contact again. I agree. Look into my eyes and concentrate. Well, one of these is definitely your astrological sign. Whoa, how did he know? <laughs> See, I told you it was no accident. You know, this mind reading takes a lot of effort. I'm getting tired. So instead of trying again, I'm going to look in my crystal ball and find out exactly which sign is yours. Ooh, okay. That's just a modem. Come on, dude. Wow! Facts, Max got it right. It's rather handy, don't you think? Alex? Um. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm uncomfortable. So, mission accomplished. Because yeah, this is a CDI job. game. <sighs> I don't know about this one, y'all. I got a I got a bad feeling about Max Magic. Hello. Hmm, I don't believe I've seen this place before. Well then, you out there, we're partners in magic. <laughs> Why don't you enter your name now? I don't know if I like how much Max Magic knows about me. So yeah, as some of you mentioned, this is very similar to uh, Penn and Teller's Smoke and Mirrors. Right to find the first letter of your name. An unreleased Sega Press CD game. One. Famously, that includes the desert bus uh, thing that everybody knows about, but it also includes a bunch of magic tricks that you can set up beforehand and wow your friends. I think this game is similar, but there's two sections. There's one where you have to prepare beforehand, like uh, create a save file in the CDI so you can fool your friends. Mm -hmm. And I guess there's an inner sanctum where he just uh, he, he plays tricks on you. Now move Daisy. left or right. Dale, Dallas, Dallas, Damien, Damon, Dana, Daniel, Daniela, Dario. Dario Argento is here. You kidding me? You don't have Danny? You. They don't even have just Dan. In the, in the demo, they had Dan. They did. What? What the fuck, Max Magic? You gotta pick another name now. Uh, fine. Danielle, I welcome you. Let's do some magic. Could not be more menacing if you tried, my man. Let's do some magic. Yeah. There he is. Uh, let's play the Wheel of Torture. Yes, PF Magic, more famously known for balls and pets. Mm-hmm. Do you have a lucky number? Good. That makes you a superior person. Because <laughs> I also have a lucky number. Now listen very closely. For I will only show you my lucky number once. That's a hell of a lucky number. <laughs> Dumb lucky number. This is my lucky number. I will reveal that to you when the time is perfect. <laughs> now let us eliminate pictures one at a time until only one is left. I'll do this by starting at the top of the circle, then counting around clockwise, eliminating each item at the position you choose. To do um, this, okay. you need to pick a number. Use the controller to highlight any number you like. Then, press the button. This guy's voice has enraptured me. 
Multiple people saying he sounds like Seaman from the yeah. Yeah, yeah, he kind of does. Ah, you've selected four. So, I will eliminate every fourth item. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Get out of here, Bill. We'll abolish the bell. Bell abolished. One, two, three, four. Seashell, go to hell. Dispel the shell. <laughs> fuck shells. One, two, three, four. We'll fuck the duck. <laughs> and we'll let loose the goose. Uh, yes. Okay. One, two, three, four. We'll shell the egg. And we'll extricate the egg. What? One, two, three, four. <laughs> and we'll haul off the hog. One, <laughs> two, three, four. And we'll set free the bee. So that leaves one picture. Because shoe. if you were free choice, we ended up with the shoe. And now I'll explain my lucky number. You see, I knew all along that we would end up with the shoe. My number will prove it now. Okay. Oh! Wow! You see, when my lucky number is turned upside down, it becomes a word. That shoe biz. Would you like my autograph? You know what he also sounds like? Neil C. Sierra in the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah. This is spooky. Should have saved this for Halloween. All right, here's the. We'll we'll try one of these. Actually, let's try one of these now. This is probably gonna not work at all, considering it requires prior setup. But let's go ahead. Okay. Let's uh let's go with the ring light. Max Are Magic does YouTuber? makeup tutorials. <laughs> they say my eyeshadow is on point. <laughs> well, so I'm a little bit lost. Well, by Jove, I never was all that good at following directions. I'm much better at giving them. Ah, yes. We're lost in the deepest, darkest jungle where anything can happen at any time without warning. Don't like Normally, the sound of that. This mm -hmm. would be cause for concern, but I'm not worried because my partner knows exactly where we're going thanks to the psychic compass. I hate oh, that. I almost you don't like forgot. his eyebrows? We need someone hale and hearty to join us in this undertaking. Do you have someone in mind? Alex? I guess. He looked at you. He's looking right at me. I hate this. Well, Bamzulawala, as they say here. Danielle, who did bring the psychic compass, didn't you? No, of course. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Set the psychic compass up in front of your friend so that we can find our way out of here. I'm Let bluffing. I don't actually have a psychic compass. Okay. All right, I'm looking Did at I it. I tell you the story of how I was nursed back to health by a pack of wild snow leopards. Well, there I was, suffering from a very bad paper cut on my palm, stranded in the middle of the jungle. It seems I had pulled my notebook out of my pocket too quickly and was bleeding all over the flora and fauna of just as I was about mm -hmm. to lose Just spurting conflict, all over the place. A pack of wild snow leopards descended from Mount Kilimanjaro and found me sitting there in the middle of the brush. They picked me up on their collective backs and carried me back through the trees to their jungle lair. I don't know how long I was there. I lost all track of time. Of their course. Their clever ways and jungle magic were able to heal the enormous paper cut on my palm Oh, and magical leopards. As oh. But as I was leaving, I noticed that they had left me with a present. For my hand was not the once plain hand it had been before. Yeah, he does look oh, like a queer-coded Disney villain. <laughs> Leopard-like spots. For I was one of them now, and forever would answer the call of the jungle moon when it rises high over the veldt. Well, 
I'm waiting for you to set up the psychic <laughs> compass. <laughs> okay. You know when you are ready. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, you're finally ready to continue. I could have been eaten alive out here and digested in the time you took. My they made a game that is the most unsettling thing compass. I've seen in my entire life. See, it and it keeps being unsettling. It's, it's disturbing, all right. North, south, east, or west. Turn the compass so that it points toward one of these directions. Make this I... decision carefully so that you are sure it is entirely your own choice. Mm -hmm. Let me know when you are ready to continue. It's pointing to the north. Okay. By Jove, I don't know why it took you so long to make up your mind. <laughs> After all, my partner knew in advance precisely what direction you were going to choose. He's a PNG tuber. Because this, this is a kick-ass ping tuber model. I would love a ping tuber model like this, honestly. I like when it does that thing. What? You I don't think Viato Tube can do that, though. How untrusting of you. Very well. Will you reveal the prediction you previously wrote on the piece of paper and put into the envelope? You didn't drop it in the quicksand, did you? No. No? Good. Okay, it's in the envelope. A piece right. of paper with the word north written on it. Congratulations. You were absolutely right. That really is an amazing... Psychic compass. Well, now we know what direction to head in. Let's carry on. Get the bearers to load up the rest of their gear. Tally ho. Into the belt. Hip hip and all that. We, we did it. We, we did it. Yeah, that was the one, one of the ones that required setup beforehand. So he's going to look a little bit foolish. Maybe I should do that next time. You there's should. a there's a very lengthy manual that came with this explaining how to set everything up. I'll have to try that next time. But let's go for one of his uh, one player tricks. Cool frame. Yeah. Will you? That's why we're here. Well, this guy. Hello there. This persona. Max adventure here. <laughs> it seems that today. We have the opportunity to unravel an ancient mystery. As you can see, there are many chambers inside the pyramid, each cool. with a different mysterious Egyptian symbol called a hieroglyph. Somewhere deep inside, in a dark chamber, is a secret treasure, and I'm going to use my mysterious powers to help you find it this is asmr his voice just kind of draws you in mm -hmm. have you noticed three entrances to the pyramid choose one yeah exactly this is one of those uh, mobile game ads <laughs> so that it is pull the wrong pin that and the bald man gets covered in sewer water Sorry, i can't see what you're doing because this blasted huge pyramid is in the way <laughs> so when you position your finger Press button one on the controller to let me know you're ready to continue. I have positioned my finger. Okay. It's in the bottom one. Oh, no, okay. no. The doors have all closed. You're trapped. But wait. Look. Secret doors between the chambers have opened. By Jove. Now you can explore the pyramid. Listen carefully. Here's what I want you to do. Slide your finger from the chamber you're in through a door into a chamber next to that one. You must move through a door. You can't lift your okay, finger. Okay, I'll move it screen. left into the crescent go uh, through more than one, one door on the bottom row. Move. When you've done that, let me know by pressing the controller's button. It's been done. The controller's button. <laughs> button. Good. Now... Slide your finger into another room. Please you don't say it like that. A different one or move back to the one you just came from. The I'm moving up to yours. the blood. Cool blood. When you Fine. Make one more move, sliding your finger through a door into another chamber. 
I'm going to go back to the Crescent. When you're ready to continue. Are you allowed to do that? Yeah, he said you could go back. Okay. Oh, good heavens. I seem to have lost you. What chamber are you in? Yep, not that one. Oh, dear. There seems to have been a terrible cave-in at the Hall of Nepha. Oh, whoa. That got the blood going, didn't it? Yes, rather. Well, you'd better keep going. This time, make three moves. Just slide your finger from one chamber into another. Then another. Okay, I'm going to move to the lower right corner. More. Okay. What? Good thing I moved from there. Mm-hmm. By Kraken, the chamber of Uris just got completely flooded. Phew, that was a close one. It would be quite sticky if you'd been in there. Yes. But I know you weren't. Keep your wits about you. Would have been sticky in there with Sticky Bear. Oh. I'm on your side. Next, you will make five moves. When you've done that, let me know by pressing the controller button. Okay, so I'm going to move to the the green one at the bottom, which is two. Goodness. And I'm going to move to the blue one, which is three. You mm -hmm. didn't then I'm going to move four, five to the one exactly in the middle, the little, okay. the little scarab. Ah. Oh. Bobby! But yeah, I wasn't in there either. Joe, that was close. But you're still hale and hearty, aren't you? <laughs> That's me. Well, this is hale and hearty. Tense. Soup. Make four more Is there a moves. soup company called Carefully. Hale and Hearty Soups? There's Chunky Soups. When you've done mm. that. Press the controller button. Oh, I missed what he said. Uh, Maybe he'll repeat it. Hello? Anyone out there? Still on the expedition with me, are you? Uh-huh. will make your choice. Then press the button on the control. Four moves you're supposed so to make. Move oh, on. four? Okay. So I'm going to move one to the left, then one to the right, then right, then down. We're going to end up with the blue orb. Cool. Ew! Great Scott, I'm glad you didn't have your finger there. <laughs> okay. Be extra careful this time. The pit has been your filled with shit. Depends on it. Good. The infamous now, Egyptian shit carefully. pit. Make three more moves. And when you've done that, if you're still with us, press the button on the controller. Moving back to the blood tier on the okay. left. It's getting kind of tight in here. There are only three rooms left. Make one last move. We're moving right to the middle. Wow. wow, how did he know? That's not as impressive. That no, honestly. Only one room. The chamber of Kep, which is exactly where your finger is located. And look. How did he know? Oh, it's made out of solid gold. Can you imagine how much this is worth? Priceless. Congratulations. You've located this secret treasure. I'm very grateful I was taught the ancient Egyptian art of mind reading at a young age. And lucky for you as well. Is that I an Egyptian art? Your pants. Um, sure, why not? Well, there you go. He tracked my virtual finger across the screen. And we've discovered the greatest treasure of all. Pyramid Adventures for CDI. It's very rare. I think we have time for one more game. One more? Okay. What should we do? The treasure chests? The cards? Cards. The orb? The uh, picture? Or the birthday cake? Or the exit? I kind of want to see the cards. Let's do the cards. Well, actually, the cards, I think, require a deck of cards. Oh, fuck that. No. Do you want the orb? Yes, orb. Have we already done the orb in the demo? So. Let's find out. Yeah, we did this. Yeah, it is. Exit. Fuck this. We know your game, Max Magic. You seem to like these astrological games. Let's try one again. No. Here's an opportunity. Sorry. Wow. I didn't want to go through all that. Where are we no, starting? Me neither. 
Well, this is uh, unsettling, spooky, terrifying. Mm-hmm. Um, leaves you with a feeling of unease. It's a CDI game, in other words. I was going to say all great things that happen with a CDI. Mm-hmm. Thanks to pure fucking magic. And Danielle. And Danielle. He remembered me. Wait a minute, the Philips CDI memory is corrupt. It can't remember me. Alex! Dun, dun, dun! That's fucked. Danielle, is that you? Yeah? It's past my bedtime, you know. If I'm cranky tomorrow, it'll be your fault. <laughs> Go to bed at 4 p.m., dude! <laughs> Let's do the birthday cake. Cake. Happy birthday, everybody. Oh, he's festive. I love the school balloon. Hi there, all of you out there in birthday land. It's Party Max. We're going to have gay a Max. good time, aren't we? <laughs> if it is possible to have any sort of a good time in this ridiculous outfit, move the fun <laughs> controller up or down to find your birth year or any year that seems fun to you. Then press button one. I don't like this one. Uh, let's say my birth year is 1964. Sounds good. Controller. For the sake of this. Please. Yeah, I remember the 60s. Since your special year is 1964, that means that 64 is your special number. Now, if you examine this chart, you'll see that there are 16 happy little numbers. <laughs> 64 is not one of them. However, these numbers will also be very, very, very important, as you'll soon see. As your peepers can see, the numbers are in four horizontal rows. We're going to color one of the rows. You get to choose which one. Doesn't that sound... Uh, let's just get on with it. <laughs> Use the controller to move the green bar over any row and press button one. This may actually be the Seaman voice actor the more I listen to him, because the Seaman voice actor is, Please of course, the same actor as Francis York Morgan one. from Deadly just Premonition. Do what I ask you. I promise I'll bribe you with some birthday cake. Okay, birthday cake. Let's Our go. Our next color is blue. There are three remaining rows where we can put that nice color. Why don't you move the bar over one of the remaining rows and push button one? And hurry up, please, while I still have a shred of dignity. <laughs> this guy hates being in this video game. Mm -hmm. I'm going to piss him off by waiting. Why don't you move that bar over one of the remaining rows and push that darn button one? <laughs> why? Because you enjoy torturing party clowns. That's why. He's got me. He's got me now dead to rights. We'll try red. You've got two choices. Move the cursor to either row and press button one. This one. There's one color left. Yellow. And there's only one row left for us to color. But remember, that position was determined by your previous choices. Now you've made an arrangement of colors for the four rows. There were 24 different ways in which you could have organized the colors. This is the one you wanted. Lucky you. Next, we'll do the same thing with the same colors, but this time arranging them for the four vertical columns. Vertical. That's up and down, like my career. This time, <laughs> we'll start with green. Why don't you move the color bar over any column and push that Alex. darn button one? I think I'm a PF Magic fan. I think I've Are been you? PF Magic pilled. All right. I love every single Why one of their games you? I've played. Well, they all you have can't this. Give a good reason, can you? They Why all have this you? weird attitude about them, you know. They have an energy to them for sure. Now for blue, go ahead. Uh, this one. Now we'll do it with red. Go ahead. You've got two choices. I'll make him wait. Go ahead and move the color bar. Or just throw down the controller and dance around the room like an idiot if that's what you want to do. I love him. All right, I'm doing it. <laughs> it's done. I'm we dancing danced. around the room like an idiot.
Oh, is he not going to say anything else? I think he's done. <laughs> I pushed him too far. And in the last position, we'll put the color yellow. Once again, there were 24 different ways to arrange the colors. And you chose this order, so don't you dare blame me. All right. That means that the total number of arrangements for both the horizontal and vertical colors is 576. That's a lot of birthday candles. That's how old I'm going to be by the time you finally finish doing this trick. Let's see. Hmm. The two blue lines cross here. At what the if a game despised you? 20. That's the I question we're that. answering. The green lines meet here at 7. The yellow ones intersect at this location. 23. And the red lines cross exactly here oh on the number Oh my god, Alex. 7. Mm -hmm. So, because of your choices, we have found four numbers. Let's add them together. 27 plus 7 plus 7 plus 23 equals... What have we here? Dun, surprise, dun, dun. surprise. Wow. Your lucky number. 64. Well, look what's inside the present. It's a big, big ending. Because we're done. We're done with the trick. What a nice surprise. I thought it would never get here. Where's my stretcher? Where's my insulin? Take me away from all this. <laughs> Well, what do we have here? A great big end to the stream. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Max Magic <laughs> and the Philips CDI, a system I hope to never return to in my entire life. Any credits? Because Chad has not been able to find any credits. Here we go. There you Here's go. The credits. Max Maven. Ryan Loman. Ah, oh, that's not Jeff, whoever. <laughs> There's a guy named Jeff who voices Sea Man. Could be a could be a pen name. I don't know. Thanks, Max Maven. Oh, so he named himself after the game. I see. Well, this is a PF Magic production, meaning that they executed everything as perfectly as they could. But the thing they were executing is extremely fucked up and uh, very narrow in appeal. <laughs> But if you want to do magic tricks on your CDI, babysitter! Babysitter. Rob Fullop, the creator of Night Trap. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Sure. Fine. Fuck it. We're all going to jail for five years. I hope you're all happy. I am. Thank you all for joining me for my special birthday party, even though it's not my birthday. Oh, I'll... thank you, Krungling, for the 40-month free sub. Thank you for that. Yeah. Max Magic. Um... That was a lot to take in. I have a feeling that's not the last we've seen of Max Magic. I uh, hope not. Next time, I'm going to do my own tricks. We're going to explore the rest of the disc. And Max Magic is going to be pissed as hell that we're wasting his time with whatever it is we're doing. Thanks for watching. We'll be back on Wednesday with a special showcase featuring Gamma, Gamma 2000. Ooh. We're playing all the way through it. Uh, Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central. Tune in to see a, a turtle full of turtle meat, among other things. I love that turtle. Alex, wrap us up. I'm going to look for a raid target. If you'd like to support us directly, we do have a Patreon, patreon.com slash retropals. If you pitch in five bucks a month, you get a vote on what we play every Wednesday. This Wednesday, you chose Gamera 2000. We will see that neat turtle filled with meat of turtle we're also on youtube youtube.com slash retro pals we post highlights of our streams there including our latest one which is our look at the ti world of tiger handheld electronics so if you want to see us play uh, an absolutely absurd version of home alone and home alone 2 do check it out yeah good times lots of home alone games lots of uh, lcd handhelds our buddy dino please is playing sega saturn games and right now he's playing sega tasanshiro shiken yugi Ooh. a game made by death crimson creator ecole in cooperation with sega one of my favorites it's a great game enjoy that enjoy dino have a good rest of your day thanks for watching see ya folks